today, one of the company pilots, Chris Hadlow, coming in, we believe, from the right-hand side. Look up in the sky now, and what a pleasure it is. Just an abundance of outstanding aircraft. The Rolls-Royce Mark 19 Spitfire. Aircraft Papa Sierra 853 was delivered to the Central Photographic Reconnaissance Unit at Benson in January 1945. He then moved into uh, action in Belgium and Holland, engaged with uh, active service, the 16th Squadron, right up until the uh, end of the war, and participated in Operation Crossbow, detecting the B1 and B2 vengeance weapon launch sites. At the end of the war, it remained on duty in Germany until March 1946 when it was brought back and uh, put into what we know as the thumb flight. That's the temperature and humidity of the upper air masses flight. It was one of uh, three aircraft which went on to form the Royal Air Force's historic aircraft flight. And you know yourselves, that was the forerunner of today's Battle of Britain Memorial flight. Registered by Rolls-Royce in 1996, having uh, bought it from the Royal Air Force, designated initially by them as Papa Sierra 853, but re-registered as Golf Romeo Romeo Golf November, representing Rolls-Royce Griffin engines. Painted as Charlie of Number 16 Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron, part of the Second Tactical Air Force. The markings worn by this aircraft between January and June 1945. Chris himself, born in Far East in Singapore, studied transport management and law before graduating and joining the Royal Air Force as a pilot in 1990. Most of his experience uh, Operationals was over former Yugoslavia on Operation Deny Flight in the Jaguars, but was also an instructor on both the Hawk and the Alpha Jets, serving as a flight commander in both the Royal Air Force and the French Air Force when on exchange, joining Rolls-Royce in 2012. Now widely recognized as an ambassador for Rolls-Royce, appearing at air displays and charity events, as well as their own corporate uh, function as well, representing the heritage of the Spitfire and the Rolls-Royce engines that powered them. Highlighting at the same time the constant technical development of both the aircraft and its engines, honoring the pilots of all nations who flew them, and the men and women who built and maintained them. And a few moments now, just delighting once again in the outstanding shape in the sky. And this time, the incredible roar and growl of a Griffin engine. listeners on 87.7 FM with Sam Grounder can hear uh, all the uh, sight and well you can't hear the sight but I hope you can sort of get the ambiance uh, really of these fabulous engines kept over at East Midlands Airport in Derby, very close of course to the main operating base of Royal Royce. Chris and uh, his, uh, a couple of his other chums there flying the company Gulfstream 450 as part of the uh, Flight Operations Specialist Team. It's 
currently the chief uh, pilot of defence and flies the Spitfire throughout the field. Catching me out, uh, completing his final part.